Hello, Shamai, and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory with Paris FT. And today is going to be the first cup match uh, going up. So it's against Bordeaux. If you watched the last episode, you will know that. We're home against Bordeaux. I almost started the match without even starting recording. I completely forgot that I was going to record this match. Let's take a quick look at how things have been going since last time. And as you can see, we hit a bit of form. Last episode, we beat Nantes 2-1. We then drew one all with Chamois Niote, which was a pretty good result, considering we had a red card and we we equalised in the 90-plus third minute. Nabil Taida, what a blast from the past from last season. Then we beat Nîmes Olympique 2-1. So three games in the league, we had seven points from. Fantastic. Much more improved performance all round. Zotzara Randrian Bologna has been playing fantastic. It was a little bit scary towards the end because they did get a goal in the 83rd minute. It was holding on a bit at the end, but it was alright. We had a bit of a scare in the cup against Jean d'Arc Drancy. They went 1 0 up, but Abu Bakar Kamara scored 2. I mean, I was hoping for a more comfortable victory than that, but that's, I suppose, that's just life, really. Kamara scoring 2 goals, I was happy with, so I was hoping that would pick up his form, but no, obviously not. So Zara Randri and Bologna got injured in this game, out for a a week, I think, so he's missing this game. This was such a disappointing game. I mean, we were all over them. The chances we had, Chibi missed a sitter, Kamara missed a sitter, and again, our striker's not scoring. I don't know what to do. I'm trying to bring in Jan Kermigant, just as someone to score goals, because with Zotara Randriam Bologna is creating chances, but our wingers are creating chances, finally. But our strikers just aren't finishing them, and it's so frustrating to make all these chances, especially in a home game where we could have at least got a point from. And our strikers just aren't finishing. So here's the league. I mean, it's a little bit more less depressing, I should say, than last time. We're still five points to get out of the relegation zone completely. Two points away from Red Star FC. It's not looking good for the Paris clubs. But if we'd have beaten Harv, I mean, we'd have beaten sitting in 18th, only two points away from Dunkirk. So, oh well, I can only dream, I suppose, at this moment. <laughs> so let's take a look at the team facing Bordeaux today. We have T-Boring goals, Yago, Bong and Labahi, the three centre-halves. Because Baptiste Pirazzi is injured, so Jamie Saidi is playing as the, the anchor man in front of the, the back three. Bong Youngwi, Miller, Caligari and Lalina in the middle. Diamande would be playing, but he's out injured. Not for too long, three to five days. Um, Jonathan Isambar is actually getting his first game today. I don't want to put Echecherwi back in. I would rather give Isambar a go before putting Echecherwi back in. And Ilz Chaibi up front. So I'm already actually into the match. Completely forgot that I was going to record this game. Let's get our little pressing going and I don't know this this could we're, we're not like a massive underdogs for this game people will be saying that we have a big chance of winning that the fans are optimistic that we can get a result they're obviously a lot more optimistic than I am because I don't expect expect us to get a result these guys are fourth in league on at the moment <clears throat> here's the first highlight of the 20 minutes Prior with a goal kick Sertic with the ball running at our defence now. No one's putting a charge in. He shoots and he just goes well wide. I'm not really sure how that's a key highlight. The game must be pretty boring if that's the case. Isambar with a free kick now. Ball in. Awful ball in. Doesn't even beat the first man. Malcolm with the ball. Bordeaux on the attack. Out wide to Wallace Oliveira. Ball in. Back post. Thanks a goal. Conceding from your own set piece like we did last game live is just. Oh, it's just so awful. Wallace Oliveira, ball in. Yago nowhere to be seen. Malcolm just taps it in on the back post. And completely as expected, we're 1-0 down to Bordeaux. I was hoping that this could be like the saviour of our season. The league is so miserable. It's so unenjoyable to play football manager when you just can't buy a win and your strikers are just so terrible. And I was hoping that this could be our saviour, I don't know, we could go on a little cup run and get to the quarterfinals even, or well, one round away from the quarterfinals. 
Well, we're approached 60 minutes. We still haven't had a highlight in our favour. Nothing is happening in this entire game. I'll give Kamara a chance. I mean, his finishing has been dreadful recently. It's such a boring game. Nothing's happened. I'll bring Rob Isle on as a deep line playmaker, see if he can make a difference. We approach the 75th minute, still nothing's happening, okay. Absolutely nothing's happening. We're just going to go overload, we're just going to go for the game. Pump the ball into the box, hit the early crosses, take more risks. Anyone I can bring on, I mean, the line is playing poorly, we'll take him off for El Hasnawi. Oh, and they have a highlight here. This could be the end of the game, actually, <laughs> if we concede here. Yeah. Bit of head in tennis. Sertic with the ball at white. Malcolm, ball cross, Thibaut collects it. Is that the end of the highlight? Surely not. Ball kicked up. We have a chance here now. Eason Bart to Rob Isle. Out white to Bong Yong Lee. Can he take it down the wing? No. Absolutely not. Unsurprisingly, gets went straight into his mind. Gets tackled. And now Decore has the ball. Bordeaux probing at the edge and... Well, the shot that's just gone well wide. Now our changes come into play. Can anything happen in the last five minutes? Here we go. Tebow with the ball. Up it goes. Awful kick straight to Walson Oliveira. Surtage with the ball in the middle of the field. To Corey now. Out wide to Kebal. Please just win the ball back. Give us one highlight this game. One highlight is all I want. Kamano into the box. Out wide to Kebal. Malcolm's there. And it's a carbon copy of the first goal. And it's GG, it's game over. You just, they're just too good. I mean, the space out wide. Cabal with the ball, back to the back post, and Malcolm is there to head the ball in again. I know, I said at the start of the game I didn't expect to win, but to not even have a single highlight in my favour is a bit depressing, really. Bong Yong Wee, still top scorer in this competition. And we crash out of the cup. I mean, we had almost half a million <laughs> in terms of prize money for that. That's pretty. That's pretty healthy. So things are not looking very good. We had such a good run there, and if I'd have just had a draw against Half Athletic Club, I'd have been happy. We're playing against US Avranche next. Who are thirteenth? Hopefully, by next episode. Results would have picked up, and it's not. It won't look so depressing. But I, I at the moment, after after the last few games here, this little run of results, especially after the Nîmes Olympic win, I was thinking, now this is going to be good. We can pick up a few results and charge up the table. But I don't know how confident I am about staying up at the moment. I'm getting linked to every single job going. Millwall offered me a job interview. I've been linked with. I get linked all the time with different jobs. I don't really know why. I'm doing terrible this season. So yeah, if you want to see more of this series and see if we can be a little bit less depressing next episode, please subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you've got any tips or comments or any strikers that I can buy that would do well in Domino's League 2, please let me know down in the comments. I'll see you again.